Hey guys, it is me. I am here because I just wanted to hop on and chat about the new super clean line with Pink Zebra. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen any of it. Um, we started with the release, I guess I would say re-release of our soap. So we have the antibacterial soap. So Pink Zebra made soap for a long time, way before I started, and then it was gone and I was sad. Then I brought it back in the VIP boxes, you know, that you can only get when you host. And then um, with everything that happened, they um, revamped it and made it an antibacterial soap. Um, so we have like five different scents. We have the Simply Clean, Relax, Air Care, uh, Clean, and uh, Hers. Yeah, that's five. I did it, huh? Um, so we have those five scents for right now. And the antibacterial soap is awesome because my kids, um, they like it. It smells really yummy. Like this one is the one that's in our kitchen. And um, it doesn't make our sensitive children break out and cause all sorts of problems. If you guys know, you know, there's a few of our children that are always uh, having some sort of allergic reaction. It's fun. So that is where they launched it. They started the launch with the antibacterial soap. This sold out in 24 hours. So they, it's all back though, which is great because I missed out on the Simply Lemon, which is, it's a simple, clean lemon smell and it's amazing. But I'm on here today to talk about the antibacterial uh, hand sanitizer. So this is mine, this is my personal one. I chose hers because it's a very soft feminine scent. And I just wanted something that didn't smell like hand sanitizer. Um, I have to be very careful right now. I am, I am at a higher risk for um, for COVID-19 and I, a cold knocks me out. So I try just to be very careful in general. So this is something that I, I put in my car and I take it with me and I just keep it in the cup holder and then I take it inside because somebody told me I shouldn't leave it in the car and start a fire. Don't want to start a fire. <laughs> So this is it. Uh, it has 70% um, alcohol in it, which the CDC recommends 60% to do any kind of damage to any kind of germs and bacteria. Um, with COVID-19, they recommend 70%. So they're sticking to that recommendation with the CDC. Uh, but they have a pH balance of 5.5 and most antibacterial hand sanitizers are like 7 or 8. So this is more aligned with our pH balance, which is I think 5, 4.5 or 5. Um, so when you get this, it looks kind of like watery. It's not as gel-like as other sanitizers. So that kind of made me question it. You know, I was just like, mm, I don't know. So I just put a little on. Oh, it squirts so and I just rub it in now when I first rub it in it feels kind of slimy and gooey and then I get a, a really big whiff of that alcohol and I'm like great this is gonna be sticky and it smells like alcohol but then the slime starts going away and then the alcohol smell is gone and all I can smell is the hers so then my hands are no longer sticky I'm sitting here just trying to make sure I don't have any sticky spots and they feel so soft and smooth. And then I don't smell alcohol at all. It smells like hers. So I smell amazing. Jace actually came up and gave me a hug and he was like, mommy, you smell good. And so I guess that's the test, right? If the little guy says you smell good, you smell good. So while it's a little iffy, it's like when you're putting it on, you're like, oh no, it's, it's gooey. And then you're like, oh man, that's a lot of alcohol smell. It goes away. You don't smell it and it's no longer slimy and your hands feel nice and smooth. And I did give it to Jacob, my most sensitive child when it comes to anything skin related. And he's doing great. So it's passed all our tests. And I just wanted to get on and introduce you to our hand sanitizer. Y'all have a nice day. 